What's up guys? I thought I'd do a video um, showcasing my shrine or my figurine shrine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about each of the figurines or um, these kind of plush toys in that in a bit more detail and just to show you guys what I got here, what's going on here. Um, this is literally like right underneath my messy ass study area um, so I'm going to talk about sort of each figurine um, in more detail and see my kind of figurine collection nothing much but it's it's growing pretty fast and I am losing space so not too sure like when I get more figurines where to fit them um, so yeah I'm gonna go into detail with them and hope you enjoy the video okay so I'm gonna work my way from right to left and then go up at the top kind of talk to you about the different figurines that I got so first off we got Street Fighter 4 figurines and this is Ryu and Sea Viper this came with the collector's edition and then behind them we have Karim Jao from Bleach Anime and he came in like this box here and it's like a, a random random selection you don't know who you're gonna get and I got that from uh, a 7-eleven shop in Hong Kong and this was a few years back um, okay. Sasuke from the uh, Ultimate uh, Ninja Storm 3 Collector's Edition, oh, sorry, uh, True Despair Edition uh, for the PS3. And this is the latest edition to my collection. And I think it's pretty cool. Really well made. I like the purple, the rope purple here the colour of it and stuff. Behind that we have the uh, Halo Reach Legendary Edition statue and um, this is fairly big kind of takes up half, well almost half of the uh, shelf here and we have all the characters from the uh, game itself and I forget I forgot each of these guys names there's one girl I believe can't remember which one it is but it's pretty big I got that from uh, on the launch date um, what else we got behind there we have the the limited edition ring which came with the Sonic Gen Generations collector's edition and these have a number on it so if I quickly grab that and I don't know if you can see but they have a limited amount that they made in Europe so I'll put that back behind there we have um, a monkey from this is like promotional thing from PG Tips tea bags. So only in the UK, kind of they done this. And then next to him we have um, a monkey there. <laughs> this is given to me by my girlfriend. Pretty cool little monkey. Just place him over there. And then we have like. I kind of put around some like a ramen uh, noodles around there, some dumplings, and a Angry Birds um, thing, a little Angry Birds, I don't know, toy thing from uh, Kinder Surprise. So just kind of put them there. On to this one which is Cloud Strife Hardy de Daytona this is probably my favourite 
uh, statue and this is they don't make these anymore this is like a discontinued um, statue from when uh, Final Fantasy 7 came out which is like I don't know when was that 1997 I think or 1996 I can't remember the date um, they make two different versions one of them is the Advent Children uh, version and um, that one is basically a uh, figurine where you can move move his joints and stuff well this one is a resin statue and this was pretty expensive um, last time I checked in like 2010 I was looking online and these were going for like 200 pounds um, I got I actually got this from Shanghai uh, for a pretty pretty decent deal uh, I think they missed mispriced it in the shop it was like a new shop that was just opening and I f think they didn't know like how much these are actually worth and I got this for like 70 pounds roughly when actually they're like around 200 pounds uh, as it's a resin statue you can't actually move any of his joints um, it's fairly heavy and the box is massive for it they come with like a number numbered um, at the bottom I can't remember which number it is but um, I'm not going to move him <laughs> focus so yeah behind that we have two uh, Tom World little things, key ring things, and these. Uh, this is from an arcade in Shanghai. Um, kind of saved up a lot of tickets just to get these. Right. Okay. Um, this is Batman from the Batman Arkham uh, Arkham City game. Collector's edition. This pretty cool statue. Ah, oh, crap. I do like it. Fairly heavy and well made. Batman Arkham City. Kind of not too sure where to put him. I kind of just arrested him on top of uh, this Sonic the Hedgehog uh, money pot or piggy bank. And this was given to me by a friend uh, on Christmas. And behind that we have a Naruto um, collection, the green collection. This is pretty neat. Uh, I brought this like a long time ago when I first watched Naruto. Um, I got this on the eBay. And um, it comes with all the, the Team 7. And I forgot his name, Hirokai or something like that. So I didn't want to take this out of the box because I thought it would look pretty neat with the box. And then you got the Japanese, Japanese writing. This is made by Man, uh, Bandai, similarly to the uh, Bleach figurine. That's also made by Bandai as well. Um, I've kept it in the box. That's probably one of my earliest um, collection, first sort of collection I got. Behind that, I don't know if you can see, um, we have like solar powered Shaolin Monk over here. Let's get him out. And he kind of uh, moves his head and wobbles about. When there's, when there's enough sh uh, sunshine, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, over back here, what else we got? We got, um, this is supposed to be uh, Sakura, but her head went missing, and I don't know where her head went. I think there was a time where I had this sat next to my TV, and there's a bin below it, and uh, I think I dropped her somehow and then totally forgot about it, took out the trash and I think her head must have dropped in the uh, rubbish bag or whatever. 
So I just kind of kept it. And what's left of her anyway. <laughs> so I just kind of put it out of the back so no one can see. Okay, moving on, we have Raiden in his white custom body armor. And this is from the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance uh, limited collection, or limited edition, sorry. Probably the best made um, figurine I have um, in my collection. Obviously, this is my best statue. My best uh, resin statue, but this is really well made. This Raiden right here, and the fact that you can customize him a little bit, and he kind of sits well right behind the Skyrim uh, statue. So I'm gonna start with these guys first. This is the Final Fantasy figurines and they came in like a random um, selection let me find the box where's the box here yeah. this is uh, it comes in this volume here volume 3 Final Fantasy Trade and Arts mini version and it has all the different characters from um, different Final Fantasy games they're pretty neat little figurines, and I got these from Hong Kong. So we have Eris here, Titus, and the rest are over here. Um, right in the middle between them, we have um, Predator. He's a little bit wonky because I kind of dropped him, his head fell off, and his foot broke. So he kind of doesn't really stand well or balance well. Um, as you see, I took out, took off his mask. The, um, this predator came with um, another figurine. Um, I can't remember. It was like Alexis or something like that. It was from the movie. The this figurine is based on the Aliens vs Predator movie. So I kind of just sold the other one because I only wanted the predator figurine I do plan to get a big predator statue or figurine at some point um, but I wouldn't know where to put them or him uh, behind that behind those guys we have Skyrim statue pretty neat this came with the collector's edition, um, which also takes like takes a quarter of my space. But it is a pretty cool um, statue. Really detailed. Plastic's a bit light. You can it's like hollow inside, I think, but it's still pretty well designed. Um, you can see here we have Kakashi kind of hiding, or yeah, hiding away over there. And I don't know if you can see that Sasuke. I kind of put him, I don't know, in between the dragon scales, and it looks like he's flying. He's about to ninja, ninja fly and kick some ass. I kind of let him dangle there. Um, Behind that we have, this is my oldest like plush. I've had this plush for like, since I was, I don't know, 10 maybe, 